takes a swipe at the Buhari led government. He says they have failed to provide leadership in the face of the current challenges facing the country. We get reaction from the presidency. And with the lingering security crisis in the country, some lawmakers say it is time for the service chiefs to get booted out. Thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today live on Channel's television. I'm Sean Kimale in Lagos. But grab a seat, everyone. Let's take you on a ride of the latest and the most talked about political stories in the land. It is 304 days to the general elections, and it seems like the best time for those in the political circle to constitute a team. So, President Muhammad Obuari has appointed Mr. Festus Keamo, a senior advocate of Nigeria, as head of communications and strategy for his 2019 re election bid. The appointment of Festus Keamo was transmitted via a letter dated April the 16th and signed by Ruti Miyamichi, the Minister of Transport and Director General of the Buhari Campaign Organization. The appointment is coming days after the president announced that he would seek re election. Now to another story. Some lawmakers do not believe Nigerian security chiefs are doing enough, so they want them sacked. Senator Suleiman Adokwe raised a point of order at plenary informing the Senate of the killing of over 32 people in his constituency alleged, allegedly by headsmen. A security summit was organized. And part of why that summit was put together was as a result of these same issues which we are discussing here today. And we listened with rapt attention to all the service chiefs and other head of security apparatus who came to brief us. And they give us excuses as to why there is a, uh, this security challenge in the country. Mr. President, I think the president needs a fresh ideas. Fresh ideas fresh men in the hem of affairs of the security apparatus of this country. And I'm saying this, so I tell you, that all the service chiefs and head of security agency should immediately be sacked. There's no two ways about this. I believe these people have lounged enough. I believe they have exhausted all ideas within them. I believe what is deposited in them over the years as security expert and everything has been exhausted. The president needs a fresh idea as regarding the security situation of this country. That's Senator Olamile on the floor of the Senate. One of the senators who spoke, those are the opinions of the senators on the security situations of the, of the land. Well, a former secretary to the federal government, Chief Olufalaye, is asking Nigerians to be wiser than their votes ahead of the 2019 general elections by electing a set of political leaders who will effect a necessary change for socioeconomic and political development of the country. The former finance minister was speaking in Abeokuta, the Ogun State capital, after a closed-door meeting which lasted for about two hours with former President Olusha Gwabasanjo at his country home. Chief Falai also took a swipe at the federal government for failing to effectively rise up to provide the much-needed political leadership in the face of the current challenges facing the country. The president's government, you know and I know, they have not succeeded, they have not done well. They've the primary responsibility of a government is to protect the lives of its citizens. This government is not doing so. People continue to be killed and slaughtered every night. Take your newspaper. Any government that cannot stop that has failed. President Buhari is my friend. Once upon a time, you recall, I raised his hand in Adamastin by Nibadon. Asking people to vote for him because he said he would restore Nigeria. 
So it's not a personal matter. The truth of the matter is that he has not done well. And I was hoping that he himself will look at the situation as a very honest and, uh, you know, very honest and uh, right thinking person and do himself a favor and do us a favor by saying that in the light of what has happened and given the state of his health, he is not going to contest.